Hello there, and welcome to episode 4 of my match to bed journey. How are you all doing? Of course, very fidgety delaying here. Good to see you guys. It is now coming up to literally the 23rd of September and uh, I haven't really got into much detail. This video is going to be me just sitting down. And by the way, I'm on Tether at the moment, if you can see, because my camera's dying. And thanks, Janet, for... Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying these videos. I kind of feel rude sometimes posting my videos on someone else's page, but I hope that I help uh, add value to Corvus chat uh, group as well. So, yeah, uh, been a bit of a fun week so far it's my i've done nine days now and my profits kind of slowed down just a bit but that's because of human error i've actually got one bet in place for saturday uh yesterday i set up a bet for manchester united or was it not man, united, man city versus swansea and the 40th of the day that was on um that was actually a 25 pound qualifying bet so i'm 84 pounds down right now I still the balance is still good. I'm 164 pound up in nine days. It would be more if things had worked out. Uh, today I cashed in a 50 pound free bet on BWIN. That was pretty sweet. We paid 50 pounds today in total actually because on the 22nd on the, on the Wednesday yesterday um, I placed I tried a bet on Coral for the horse racing refunds. That was kind of interesting because you don't find it straight away what's happening. The idea was you put 25 quid on maximum. If your horse is second by a length, you get a free bet of 25 quid. I was quite lucky and I managed to get that because it's it's not always going to happen. But if it works out, you can get 25 quid. So I made that into a nice £17 profit, which is what? 17 divided by 25. Why do calculators not work? Figure out the maths, I can't be bothered. Uh, going to book me now, what was it? It's about a 70% profit, so I know some people are probably getting 80%, 90%, I don't know, uh, I don't really care. I, I'm happy with how it is, well I do care, but you know what I mean, it's like I'm happy with the profit, so I made 50 quid today, so if you basically slide it off the two days, I'm £25 a day. Uh, what else was there? Uh, so things are pretty good in that respect. Tomorrow I'm hoping to do some qualifying bets, I've drawn out some money into my uh, into my PayPal. I had a bit of worry with my PayPal account. And this is one thing you guys might want to notice. If you use PayPal, it's quite quick to get money out, but my account started getting security flagged. It's just precaution. They my I couldn't draw any money out because I was funnily enough I borrowed some money off my brother to do something else and then like all of a sudden I've got twenty five pound going here, thirty pound there, forty pound here, fifty pound there. So they're kinda of like, well what's going on? Why are you spending all this money? So they it's just a security measure. So be careful if you do it. But yeah, I've drawn some money out so I can start doing that. I've got my new bank card fully set up my online banking so I can track all that. So everything's pretty straightforward now. The thing is, if I'm going to do my eBay stuff, I need to have another bank account for that. So I don't know. I've got this uh, card, but I think it costs money to withdraw. If anyone wants to get a card, a second account, I don't know how this works for withdrawals. But it's called it's called Pocket. No, that's focusing. I don't know. And that's basically a reloadable Mastercard. So I think with that, is there's fees involved. I don't really think I want to use that for this. But there are different banks you can go to sign up for. I was really confused to why I got accepted for a bank last week because of credit rating and stuff. Because the one time I applied for a second bank account, I didn't get it. But yeah, not much really going on. I'm just really just taking my time, looking for tomorrow to do things. So I go back to work next week. I work full time. Um, so as you can imagine, it's going to be difficult for me to actually do anything. But for me, my workflow can improve because I have got two... <laughs> this is quite stupid. Too. I have two iPads. So what I'm probably going to do... Um, I mean, I could make it easier. Have I showed you how I do my bets? <sighs> Hold on. Let me just do this. A second. Go over there, Windows. Behave yourself. I just thought about this. Um, 
So when I'm doing my odds match, I'm gonna do this. So this is my main screen. It's an ultra wide screen, 35 inches long, in width, whatever. Um, so what I would do, I'd have my odds matcher, odds matcher there, and then all my gambling stuff on that side. God, having a tether to this camera is really annoying me. So I would go ahead, pick on what I want to pick. Back odds, so I would pick that, figure out what I'm going to do. I would then bring over the bookies site, have the exchange site over that side of the screen. God damn it, this cable's really annoying. So do all the stuff I've got to do. I can't wait to do that one. That's going to be crazy. I haven't got enough money yet to do this. But yeah, so I can just basically have both things up there, find the result, find the match. So that would be Olympic Marseille, copy, paste, and then find the match. Da -da -da -da. And go from there. Uh, my spreadsheet, my spreadsheet looks absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So as you can see, I initially, I, I think in my spreadsheet, I kind of did it in a certain way, it was messed up. Um, I started off with certain amounts and I kind of just bundled it all together. That's my total profit, 159.53. And then, as you can see, I kind of add it all up. So as you can see, my closure balance right now is 366 pounds. I'm not going to show my balance sheet because that's got personal details, but I don't mind showing you this. So you can kind of see my spreadsheet is kind of overcomplicated. But it works for me, as long as it works for me, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do when it comes to going to work, I'll probably try and do some of my bets through, what's it called? Through my iPads. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. One for the odds matcher and one for the other. Even then, I could probably use my phone. Oh my God, it's going to look stupid and won't work. But if it only takes me half an hour to get the bet set up, <laughs> then why not? And then I can go from there. And then what was I going to say? There was something I was going to say, and it's completely failed. Maybe bear with me a second. I've got to, I've got to think about it. I'm not going to sit and keep you guys watching some guy not making his making words right. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm getting to the point now when I can start to leave money in the different exchanges. So I'm going to leave most of the money in Betfair. I really need to start looking at the other exchanges. Matchbooks looks like a good one to go into. There's a fifty pound promotion for that, but. At the moment, I've got to get my passport sorted out. I'm in two minds of whether I should just order it normal and have it come within three weeks and stick to Betfair for now, because that bet's not going to go in, that offer's not going to go anywhere. And it's going to cost a bit more. Or pay an extra 25, 30 quid to get it done within a week, which means I've got to go somewhere after work next week for an interview. But I don't think I really care for that. That's not an issue. But I don't know what I'll do. But I want to start trying to pull money out. I think if I could keep at the moment try and keep a couple of hundred. I don't know how it's gonna work. I want to spread the money over the bank, over the different exchanges. I think I'll probably do all of them and I'll probably stick to I've noticed that Betfair is obviously the one of the best ones but the commission's high. Matchbook seems to come up for a lot and Smarkets. I can't use Smarkets right now because that one's still locked. They wanted the, it's funny when bookies say like if you've got some national ID, a national ID card, like, in my opinion, I would have thought a citizen card is, then it's fine. Um, but I don't know, so I'm not going to spend 30 quid on that, so I might as well spend the extra blah 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 and get a new one of these bad boys, because mine expired in March. And I want to go away next year anyway. But yeah, in terms of goals, I've kind of decided I want to try and aim for £40 profit a day. That's my idealistic one. My realistic one's about £30 a day if I can. If that's possible, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I think once you get to better grand, it gets easier anyway, because you can just do... I think, I don't want to be greedy. I like the fact that I can do these 6.0, 7.0 odds ones, but when you can guarantee a smaller amount of money on 4.0, I might just keep them down to doing three or four relay better four pound and stuff a day. Because I think if I remember right, it wasn't that much. Let's have a look. Reload, cobble reload. So I did one for my reload. It was £64.5. Yeah, £64.5 pence liability for £82.35p. So if you did three of them, 180 quid. Then it's obviously, you know, if, 
I would love to do four a day, but if you do three a day, odds are you might get one out of the three to cash in and win on the reloads. And keep doing that, it's good. Um, my favourite exchange is probably Betfred. I like Betfred, I'm trying to keep that one going. Cobble, I want to keep going as well. I like Paddy Power for some reason. Paddy Power seems like an interesting one to go for. Um, I'm not too fussed about Genting. Toad Sport seemed alright. But win, I don't really think I care for so much. I'm waiting on 188 bet for one of their deals. But so far, you know, I'm quite happy with most of them. But anyway, yeah, not much going on. I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. I'm going to get off. And, you know, I enjoy putting these videos out there. Um, and if you know anyone who wants to try the thing out, I feel awkward talking about this, but it's in my mind, like, if someone finds it, if you find this video useful and you think someone might benefit, down in the mail description there is a link for a, a affiliate link. Sign up through there, do the trial for a couple of days if you're new. You get 40 quid out of it for trying. You need about 100 quid just to get through it. But, you know, I really do enjoy this method. Now, there are websites out there where, are f where there's free match betting sites and programs it's like i don't know i don't mind spending this 150 pound a year once i pay i don't mind that because i've got the, the community seems good i always seem to get answers from james one of the main admins i think he must be the, the actual guy who runs it james and there's always people willing to answer and answer within 12 hours because it might be quicker in the day when they post questions because I've, I've been up late so that's why it happened but yeah like the community is really helpful the offers are good and it's just the more you see the more you can really appreciate what's going on with it so anyway thanks guys for watching if you do enjoy feel free to uh, please post comments in the video if you can i don't mind if they go in the page but i feel bad sometimes i don't want to look like i'm trying to you know i, I really care about other communities for can help it um, and i don't want people to think like oh you're just here to you whatever you know I would always support someone like Cora, who's really, you know, helped me a lot. Even though she probably only had to talk to me once, um, like in a conversation. And um, that makes no sense. God, it's going to be fun. I'm half asleep and I'm full of caffeine. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know how long you've been doing it. Have you been doing it for a while? And how much money have you made? What is it you're finding the most fun? What is it you're finding the least fun? What are you making easy money on? And what are you struggling to make money on? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and if you are new as well and you want to keep seeing more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hopefully tonight I can get my vlog sorted out. I really need to get on with that. So thanks guys for watching. I will see you soon. Peace out guys and take care. See you later.